Elsewhere in Summer Bay, Levi is forced to come to the aid of younger sister Abigail after a desperate phone call. Abby came to the bay for a flying visit to help celebrate Big Sister Eden's engagement to Cash. Both of the siblings had found Abby's behavior unusual, particularly when she later disappeared with Levi's wallet. It soon became apparent that Abby had also swiped the petty cash from John's office in the surf club, and once Levi realized, he repaid the funds as a donation and requested John withdraw the police complaint. Although Levi could take at least some comfort in the fact that seeing the transaction notifications on his phone would give him an idea of where Abby was, and that she was okay, Mackenzie eventually convinced him to cancel the card and force Abby out of hiding. Sure enough, Abby soon rocked up berating Levi for cutting her off, and requested to borrow more money. Abby went to leave the bay again when he refused, but as he grabbed her arm she flinched. Pulling up her sleeve, Abby revealed several track marks indicating serious drug use, which had become infected. With Abby refusing to be taken to hospital, Levi convinced her to come back to the farmhouse so he could treat the infection himself, and give her some antibiotics. He still begged him for money to get through the next few days, and although he knew what she would be using it for, Levi reluctantly agreed, purely for the fact he didn't want her to resort to dangerous measures to raise the cash. His only caveat was that he was to take her back home to their mums in the city, so at least if anything went wrong, he knew where she'd be. It's clearly not long before Abby ignores Levi's stipulation however, when he receives a call next week to say that Abby is trapped in the house of a man named Dom, who will not let her leave. With his sister Eden by his side, Levi manages to find the address, but are the Fowlers prepared to see just how dark the world Abigail has found herself in really is?